New at 6 tonight, a heated fight over athletic fields on Long Island. Protesters went to a public hearing last night about Cleveland Avenue Park in Nassau County's Freeport Village. Over their objections, the village voted to rezone and sell off the park. This move is part of a redevelopment plan that will generate millions of dollars. But as CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff shows us, critics say the village is putting profits over people. It's a small park some say has had a big impact for generations. Freeport kids have used these modest ball fields and they don't want to lose them. Monday, the village voted to sell Cleveland Park to become a commercial distribution center. Our kids are not for sale. Put it somewhere else. Our kids need this space. They value profit over people. So they're looking students in their face saying, I see the access that you guys have had to this park and I don't care. They're going to give a park away to a corporate Opponents filled the hearing. The mayor calls the sale a win win. 320 new jobs and $49 million to reduce local taxes. 5% a year for the next four years, 20%. You know, during COVID now and, the, and inflation and fuel and food, people need this instant, this uh, additional assistance. While selling a park with no facilities, they'll vastly improve fields at nearby Cow Meadow Park. That have brand new fields with AstroTurf, lights, um, parking, bathrooms, locker rooms. We, of course, support economic development. It's just that the village has many other properties that they that could be considered. Cleveland Park is across the street from public housing. The other field is in the southernmost region of the town, which is going to be a hardship for students to get to that location that live on this side of town. If there's a problem with transportation, there's nothing to stop us from going back to Nassau County and saying we need a, a public bus going down there. Who controls this park is also at issue. The village is suing the school district over its claim to the land. It was very um, disappointing to see a unanimous vote uh, to, sell, to sell the property and also to rezone the property while we're in litigation. Opponents are kicking the issue up to Governor Hochul, urging her to veto a bill that allows development on parkland. One of the bill's sponsors, Taylor Darling, told me she supports the sale because affordability is a major concern here and this park doesn't have the facilities this community deserves. In Freeport, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.